Fermat, uh, Fermat and Bradley. Okay. It's like, uh, yeah, Christmas flowers. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, I think uh, we can start. We, we are ready to start. Are you ready also? Yes, we are ready. Good. Let's say today uh, I've been uh, telling uh, Yuri that we are working more for low back, uh, hips, but also for, for the shoulder problems. And of course, we will cover all uh, legs meridians and actually we will affect the condition of the body to improve the condition of the body. Well, let's say, um, I think you can, you can see me well, like this, yeah. You can see me well. You can sit on the yoga mattress, for example. Yes, 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 yes. Better to see my feet instead to see my head. Well, let's, you, you have a good position, all of you. Good, good. Uh, let's bend our knee, our heel, we bend to our hip. That means our, our heel have to touch the have to touch here, this area, because um, um, tuberishi is here, is the bone of our hip, right and left. Okay, let's say, because we, we have to have a full mobility of our knee. We, we do it like this, with our left one. Okay. Now we are going to to bend our right knee maximum and to put our heel to contact the hip. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Now we we have to have good range of movement because good range of movement gives us ability to have a good energy circulation without any blockages. Of course, applying PIDA and LAGIN is the best way. Now, we're going to do like a butterfly. It's like extension and it's normal physiological our knee to, to touch the floor. Okay. Now we put our knee like this and we go with right knee to the left heel. And again, with left knee to the right heel and both legs have to touch the floor. Let's do it once again, one and other side two. Super, super. Once again. And back. And the last time, the right knee to the left heel and back, left knee to the right heel. Good, good, good. Now, we, we put again like butterfly our, our knee and we start with the fist to to work for our feet meridian. You know, there are six, 
but because we are working with the hands, we work for our hands meridians. You know already that from our fingers start the young meridians, three young meridians, they finish to our head. And from our chest, start three hand meridian and they finish to our fingers. And it's the same with the feet. Three in meridian start from the chest and then finished, they finished Three in meridian start from the feet and they finish to the chest. And three young meridian, they start from the head and then finish to our feet. All of our toes are connected with meridians. And we have also inside of our body, a lot of connections. That's why it's best, like a master Shao says, to work with the areas inch by inch to cover with PIDA. And if it's any new participant, if you have specific questions, you know that we are doing questions and answers every Sunday. Okay. You use any options, even you can use any tools. But yeah, that's good. That's good. Hands to feet. We connected all of our meridians, we activate them. you can use the thumb area like this. You can use the small finger area. It's activating the heart meridian. You can use just fist or like this with wrist. You can use your wrist as well. You activate you, you activate your three in meridian, heart, lungs, and pericardium. And if you're doing with the backside like this, the backside, you activate three young meridian, triple warming meridian, small intestine, and well, large intestine. Okay, good preparation. Okay, relax, relax, because for me it's warm, it's getting warm, I take it out. You, you will find a good position and then we continue. Let's say with the left hand, we're going to do lodging now. We stretch, we stretch, we stretch. You can do with two hands and then you stretch your shoulder, but you stretch your urinary brother meridian like this. Of course, it's the best if you feel a little bit pain and then you can hold it longer, you know. Lodging is good if you're doing longer, even longer than yoga exercises. It's much more effective if you're doing longer. Because you see lodging, you don't move yourself, but uh, you feel how it's going on. Okay, good, good, good. 
let's say we stretch our shoulder, shoulder plate. You, you see where we hold, we hold our feet as much as we can because blockages, they cramping the tendons and muscles and we cannot walk well and the energy cannot move good. Well, now we are going to, to stretch our right one with the both hands. We can do the same, the same. Of course, you can try different options, a little bit to the right, a little bit higher, a little bit to the left. Feel where you feel this pain and you stay there. And of course, it's not super comfortable, but it's, it's a good effect. Because as I told you many times, we've been created to maintain ourselves in any direction. The creator made the things simple and we need just to activate them. And Pydalagin is one of the unique stuff in, the, in this world. It's gift from the God, I told you before. Okay, super, 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 super. And now like butterfly a little bit to relax, to stretch. And let's say we are going to use our heel to help this area with the right heel, this area of the feet, exactly those muscles and tendons in the reflexology. This is our spine from where the toes is, from the head to the heel. Of course, we cannot do so long time because it's unusual for you and maybe you're getting tired to do that with one leg. But if you continue to use your legs for PIDA, you go be better trained and you can do it longer and you can do it exactly where, where you need. But I think most of you, if you're directly in the middle of your feet, you feel how painful is our tendons and muscles on our feet. Okay. If you have no power, of course you can help and with your hands a little bit. If you feel that your leg is getting tired you can some, use some manner to, to help. Okay. If we are doing well the area of the left feet, and you see if, if there is a neighbor who are against the voice of Pida, that's the way to be not so noisy, even less it's less noisy comparing with the slapping instruments okay okay of course i can continue but maybe some for some of you it's a it's a bit long with the feet that's why we change the feet we put our right one down and we start to do with our heel directly directly here of course it's not first time i'm telling you about that but it's good to remember
Okay. You know how to how to have to work with spider. You have to find a pain and work till the pain disappear. Of course, if you cannot continue with the heel, it's okay relaxing. You can use different sort of slapping instrument. You, you probably have most of you. Good, good, good. Let's say we've been doing this and now we are going to stretch this area where it's connected with the, with the, it's a Huangtiao point of the gallbladder meridian. But now we do something clever. And for example, we put our left leg over our knee, above our knee. And then we start to bend, we start to bend our right. And if we do that, a bit more, bend the right one, bit more, bit more, you feel outside where exactly the head of the, of the femur is, exactly where the joint is, tension, tension. That's mean you are stretching well this area. And with this exercise and with some other, with you can help to stretch this area and to solve issues uh, connected with the spasm of this area, some painful area because the, the ischiaticus nerve is coming between some muscles, piriformis, the name is piriformis syndrome. And you can do that, doing, and later you see, you can go like this, you can go like this, but the knee, the knee goes a little bit of front. Then you can do that, of course, as much as you can, according to your condition, step by step, you go like this. Of course, there is a other variation of this exercise, but this is good for beginning. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's say we've been doing that long and then we became a feeling that the tension or pain is getting less. That's mean we've been doing, we've done well, and then we are going to the next, doing the with the next leg. We put the right one here. And then we bend our left one, and then we go slowly, 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 go with the okay. slowly, slowly. Okay. Okay. And better try need to be to have a distance from you better to to push a little bit better to push a little bit okay i think this is preparation for one more exercise in a while to feel because Four, four surface, back one, inside, outside, front side, have to be well stretched. This help for the joint and help for the muscles around the area and relieve any spasm, any pain in the low back. You, are, you have options as a self-healer, and these options, it's, uh, I always told, it's without end. The way have no end. Depend of you, 
how far you want to move. But without a bit struggle, without a bit, uh, what can I say? Not tears, but sweat. That's not possible. If we put an effort, we increase the function of the body, and we we have uh, options to increase our energy as well because we are like machine creating the energy. It's not only the way to create the energy, but that's one of the best way. Well, super, super. You did well. Now we can use, mm, let's, let's go like this. Uh, we can use the, the heel of the left one to work for all meridians of the, of the right, right toes. We go from the small one, second, and the big one. And you know, here, five meridians goes and comes. Only the kidney, I will show you later. And then you can help a little bit. You can help like this a little bit, whatever you want. Yeah. To help a little bit the, the feet because the legs, they just, we're sitting on the chair, we are walking, and that's all. They have a lot of ability, and we can help ourselves, not only with our palm, our hands. This is a little bit way to recover the, from the classical pida. A little bit if we change uh, position or if you use other instrument for pida, we, we get a bit more energy for classical pida after. Okay, let's say we, we did well. And then we go to another one. But the first, you know, the Yunxian, the point from where the where the kidney meridian starts, exactly here. Like Wao Gun, exactly where the the point of the pericardium meridian is here. Important. Okay, let's change. Change. I think in sitting position, you're safe and you're not get very tired. Let's continue. You can use any variation. You can rotate your heel. You can do directly. That's mean there is a hundreds, thousands of options. Super, super, super. We have been in this position. Let's say we change a little bit the position. Okay. Super, super, super. Little bit relax you, your legs. Legs. And you can do also, also way to do pida with your toes. You can do in here for your 
splay meridian like this. Perfect. Now, let's go to stretch all of this fascia, which is connected with so many meridians. You see that, so many points. I told you, in meridians, from the feet finish to the chest, and from the chest, they finish to the finger, which are connected with our organs. They producing, they producing the energy. And the young meridians, they are like transporting the energy. Well, let's say we change the position. We go, we go like this to stretch the area. We've been working a lot, about 25 minutes, like this. And let's go a little bit back. Let's go a little bit back. And you remember, let's see, yeah, yeah. You remember last time, we're doing like this. It's easy, just a moment. Bum, 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 bum. Super. Think like this, but we can change the the way holding us with the with the hands like this. This is interesting and effective, and I see that you can see my position very well. Super, super. You see how stiff are our hands inside, these three meridians of heart, pericardium and, and lungs, and the lung meridian. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Because we stretch back area, we stretch this fascia and this meridians of frontal fascia, we are going to stretch the one side. What we are doing? Let's see, uh-huh, okay. I do like this, I do like this. And because many people have a here stiffness of the hip, we do it like this. And of course, you see, you see what I'm doing. Directly, our left hand hold, our left hip and left leg are on the floor, on the mattress. And then we can look a little bit, a little bit up or a little bit back. And you feel how you stretch this area. And this is options for large in. It's improvement of large in.
directly, you're directly on your left hand side and hold yourself with the left. And you see the left is the one with the shoulder and wrist, they're in one line. And if you want to feel a good stretch, we have to, to move our body like this. Let's say we're doing with another one, but because that you will see what I'm doing, I put my legs here and doing the same that you stretch the legs, put the hand and do it like this. I think it's visible. You can see exactly. You, you feel how it stretch here. And you, you do not stretch only hips, you stretch every all area here connected with the lever and and uh, gallbladder meridian, one side and another side. Okay. Okay. If you if you feel a pain, you go a little bit exactly where the pain is, and you stay there, feel the pain slowly disappear. Of course, you can doing first a short time for one side and another side. And if, if you, you don't have to have a fear because you see you're not uh, moving, you're not, you cannot do any damaging. Because that's the big problem, fear. The fear make us in prison in ourselves. That's why you have to be with open mind, understand how it's going on. Good, good, good. We did this, and now we are going to have first lodging position, squatting. You try, you try. Oh, okay, you try. Okay, you're going like this, this. And then on your toes, on your on your heel, you have to do this always because this is I told you before unique exercise. Good for digestion, good for spine. Good for knee, good for everything. Now, let's twist ourselves a little bit. That's why we go a little bit on our toes like this and heel up and we go like this. We go like this. It's preparation for one more exercise. Okay. And then we go with the left hand to the right. Heel. Good, good, good. Let's say we did good and uh, we feel well. Now you try a little bit. I'm doing it like this because you better to see. You can sit, you can sit on your with the hip on your heel. Sit like this. Um, of course, you can stretch this part of the hips and the uh, and uh, 
and the muscles here of the front side for triceps. Let's say I'm going a little bit front and then then before we go back, we go with the hip to the left and and stretch the left one a little bit to the right. And you see, if, if you're to the right, you can go here and hold the left heel. And then you stretch again very well the right side. Super, super. Then we go as much as you can. Don't have to be in a hurry. We go a little bit back. Little bit back, little bit back, and and of course you can go further, 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 and step by step you're going down, 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 down. but not today step by step because you see the quadriceps is tension and you have to train that okay okay slowly go up and then now we can do uh, something interesting for our joint We cross our knee. Right one goes back and cross with the left one. And you see our feet, they have a distance. But let's say first for the beginner, uh, just a moment, I go a little bit. Okay. Let's say for beginner, we are going to sit with the tuberishi here. You feel the bone here exactly, exactly the bone. You go and with the finger and you feel exactly the this tuberishi, and you sit, you sit on your heel with tuberishi of the left hip. You sit on the right heel and just you can do a little massage. And this is for some of you, I think, because bone to bone, it's uh, very sensitive. Because you go left and right, left and right. You go a little bit back and front, left and right. And it's, look, you're not doing nothing, but you have a huge effect on this area connected with kidney meridian. Yeah. And later, later what we are going to do, we do with both legs. We, you see the hip, hip is going out of the left and sit in the middle, sit in the middle. What means sit in the middle? Okay, you, you can see for a little while, what's that mean? Like this, like this. I go a little bit front. Okay. And I think now, now it's visible, perfect. Okay, then, then, what you're going to do, because we stretch here the left one, and we're going with our body directly, slowly, 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 we're going down. And if we're going down, you feel how stretch is this area. And you stay, stay, of course, it's tension and painful, 
But that's the point for you as discoverer. And go a little bit, little bit down. I'm actually lying on my left knee. Now you can you can stretch your hands and a little bit stretch them back. This you can do as well. If you can, of course, step by step. Okay, let's say we did two minutes and uh, the we could feel that this tension and stretch area is uh, is a bit relief but you remember okay let's try together you go with the with your fist and you can do directly Pie down this area where exactly we have a pain. And we have a double effect to solve this tension here and these blockages. Of course, we have to do longer. Okay. I'm going to show you something which is good for our shoulder as well, and then we will change the position. What we're going to do? Okay, let's say we we finish with our pida with the left fist, and go a little bit up. And now, now you see this left leg is going like this, and what we're doing? We are going with the right here. And this is very good to stretch the shoulder because if you go here and if you touch, I will turn for you to see, to see. Now you stretch here, you, you pull the shoulder area and you hold both hands. You hold both hands. It's looking complicated, but it's simple. Just give yourself a time and you will manage. Super simple and it's good for, if we, if we pull a little bit our joint, over there, the energy is coming and that keeps joint in a, the perfect condition. Actually, we hold the hand. I will show you that after a while. Well, well, well. We did this. It has been like this. And now we change the position with the other one. Left one down and the right one up. Right, right one. We say we sit first with the with the right tuberishi to the on our left heel and go up left and right left and right up and down and massage our heel then. Then we go like this. And I've told you, we sit, cannot be now for some of you, but later you will manage step by step. Don't be on a hurry. With patience, speed slowly. Okay. And now we are going with our chest to touch our, our knee. We touch our knee. You see, we touch our knee. We can stretch our hands as well. 
stretch our hands. And I think you feel from the right, right hip, I will show you a little bit turn to feel for the right hip here. Yeah, how, how stretch it is. And then we can go exactly where the pain is with the with the fist. Exactly in this point, you know this is Juan Tiao. This is this is gallbladder meridian point. Okay. Okay. We did theoretically enough and our tension release, our pain goes. And then, then we have to do this position again. You see the right one is here. Can see well, I think yes, yes. We're going with the left one. Yeah, let's say I, I go a little bit more to see that. Okay, you see, right elbow to the left elbow to the right knee from outside. And then we put here. And then we stretch very well our shoulder. And we can hold like this, like this. Super, super, super. Okay. Good. We have a little bit more time, little bit more time. And uh, let's say, we stretch our legs, we stretch. I promised last time to show you this cylinder. Cylinder is for rolling massage, rolling your back, rolling your chest, your shoulder. Uh, but I prefer to show you only one, only one. If you don't have cylinder, you, you can take it from the sport shop, whatever you are. Yeah, and like this, like this. You, if you don't have cylinder, just bend your knee. And you see, you see this is very, very, for the, for the beginners it's a painful, but it's very effective, very effective. Okay, 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 good, good, good. Um, now we continue to show you uh, what you can use for what you can use. If you have one, if you don't have cylinder, you just do by the, by the, we say for, for your quadriceps like this, or you can do from outside to inside. You go to discover where you have pain to, to remind you next time to work, to work. But if you have cylinder, if it's a bit heavy, you can use in any, any area, you can use it. You can use it because it's a big surface. You see, cylinder is very suitable, very suitable. If you don't have it now, just use your hands. Mm. 
hang inside. You don't have to be in a hurry. You can use this cylinder all over the body, all over. Back, shoulder, legs, everywhere. Tummy, chest, for example, like this. Yeah, you can, you can use your hands a little bit here. Activate your thymus, activate your inner meridian, any area. But you can use this as well. And of course, if you start to use one area, for example, a few minutes, you will feel a massive, massive shot. A few minutes, that's mean could be half an hour as well. Okay, okay, okay. Anyhow, if you have shoulder problem, or if you want to touch a little bit more of your back as well, you can use that. Any, or, or here you are. Your chest, if you need any area for help. Of course, if it's too heavy first for you, you can use any slapper. Well, well, well. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your attention. And I think it's uh, your turn for some breathing exercise. And I, I told you last time, breathing, just follow your breathing or breathe slowly in, breathe slowly out. You don't have to concentrate and see, oh, I didn't breathe, or I breathe. Just being relaxed. It's good relationship with you. And once in right. hours. You're so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, come on. You, come on. I, I'm not in the condition to, to do it. If you want to do it, otherwise I could close for tonight. Super, super. Okay. Let's say we do. Let's say we do. Um, okay. Stay in this position. Okay. A few more minutes. Stay in this position. Or like this. Stay like this. And close your eyes just a moment. Just a moment. Close your eyes. This. And say to yourself or to your organs or to or to your friends whatever i'm sorry please forgive me thank you i love you this is so important most important than pidelagin because if you have freedom invisible freedom you can have so good results with Pride Large. This is the first one. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. I always told that we are brother and sister around the world because Mother Earth is, is one for all of us. That's why if we improve our condition, we will have a good vibration for the universe. If we help our brother and sister, it's help for us as well. That's a principle of the universe and Pi the Large in including that too. And now we breathe slowly in. Hold a little bit and breathe slowly out. And then we try second time slowly. Breathe in.
and try a bit slowly. Once again. And one more time. Okay, let's wash our face, our nose. our ears, our neck, and on the hair, top of the finger with the nails, three times like a Yuri does. Good. Thank you once again. Any question or if it, you have so many questions, maybe someday or now, if I can answer you short. You're welcome. Tell Thank me. you so much, Carmen. We appreciate you. You're Thank welcome. you, Carmen. Yes. You're that welcome. was awesome, Carmen. Thanks. You're welcome. Carmen, thank you very much. I loved it. Thank you. See you next time. Yes. See you. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.